Yantriki. The Power of Machines welcomes you in this new episode. Hello friends, in this video, I will discuss bisection method. We are familiar with the solution of linear and quadratic equations by the method of factorization. In engineering research and scientific works, we often come across equations in the form of fx equals 0, where the normal method of factorization does not help. From time to time, mathematicians have developed various methods for finding approximate root of nonlinear algebraic equations. One of the approach for solving algebraic equations is iterative method, which is also known as trial and error method. This method is used when direct method of solution fails. In iterative methods, we guess initial estimate and improve it through repeated steps. Due to the repetition of the steps, it is known as iterative method. Each step is called iteration. Bisection method is one of the simplest iterative methods. It is based on repeated application of the intermediate value theorem, according to which if there is a function fx equals zero, in the interval a, b, then there exists at least one root of fx between a and b. However, this stands true if f a and f b have opposite signs. Let's understand this with an example. Consider a function fx such that fx equals x cube minus x square plus x minus 7. Now we have to use the bisection method up to three iterations in order to find the root of the given function fx. The most important step in bisection method will be to choose the correct intervals. The intervals are also known as trial points. If I consider a, b as trial points, then there must be any of the two scenarios. f a less than 0 and f b greater than 0 or f a greater than 0 and f b less than 0. However, in any case, f a and f b should be of opposite signs. In this case, if I consider 0, 1 as the interval, I get f0 equals minus 7, which means f0 is less than 0 and f1 equals minus 6, which means f1 is also less than 0. I can see here clearly that the value is increasing if I choose positive integers as intervals. Therefore, I will not choose minus 1, 0 as the trial point because f minus 1 equals minus 10. We can conclude f0, f1, f minus 1 are of the same sign. However, my aim is to find the intervals which will give positive and negative values for the interval. So, I will try with 1 and 2 as the trial points. f2 equals minus 1, that is, 
f2 is less than 0. f1 is already less than 0. If I try trial points 2, 3, f3 equals 14. That is f3 is greater than 0 and f2 is less than 0. So I have found an interval such that f3 and f2 have opposite signs. Using the bisection method, the approximate root is given by x equals a plus b by 2, where a and b are the intervals. As we have to calculate the root using three iterations, the first iteration will be x1, where we will be considering the interval as 2, 3. So using the formula a plus b by 2, it will be 2 plus 3 by 2 and we get the value of x1 as 2.5. f 2.5 equals 4.875 which means f x1 is greater than 0. As f x1 is less than f3, the root will be in the interval 2 to 2.5. The second iteration will be x2 equals 2 plus 2.5 by 2 because now the intervals are 2 and 2.5. So the value of x2 will be 2.25. f2.25 equals 1.578 which means fx2 is also greater than 0. As f x2 is less than 2.5, the root will be within the interval 2 and 2.25. Now using the third iteration, we will get x3 equals 2 plus 2.25 by 2 because 2 and 2.25 are the intervals. So the value of x3 will be 2.125. Thus, after three iterations, the approximate root of the equation x cube minus x square plus x minus 7 is 2.125. I hope you understood the concept. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned with us. Press the bell icon for updates and notifications.